Good morning, Scott Davis from TechWise Group. It is Monday, April 6th, uh, 21 days into the quarantine or essential business only here in Pennsylvania. And just wanted to come to you with a few tips and tricks uh, for technology here for the day. Uh, to, just to get things started off, uh, on Friday I spoke about the Zoom. Zoom meetings has really taken over the world as a whole as a way to continue to communicate and collaborate with online meetings. Uh, over the weekend, a few changes have been made. Uh, New York City schools have banned the use of Zoom meetings um, right there with Nevada's Clark County Public School District. Um, the FBI has placed a warning on it. The UK Ministry of Defense SpaceX and another a, a lot of other companies are also placing bans on the use of Zoom meeting because of the security concerns that came to light last week with it. In addition to that, there's been a number of lawsuits ha that have started to being filed looking for class action status against Zoom uh, using California's Consumer Privacy Act, uh, CCPA, as well as the, the GDPR, uh, which is Europeans based. So Definitely something to keep an eye on as these lawsuits are going to just shed more light on Zoom. Uh, here is hopeful that Zoom is able to right their ship. Uh, I know they put a feature off new feature builds on hold and all their engineers are being forced uh, or are being focused on the security improvements. Um, Outside of that, uh, another thing that I want to bring up, uh, Small Business Association, uh, the Small Business Administration, which runs the new SBA Disaster Loan Program on Saturday, announced that about 100 business owners had their PII, their personal identifiable information, exposed in the government online portal that's used to upload the data. Uh, the agency quickly removed the functionality once it was apparent that there was some PII being breached. But anytime you rapidly try to utilize technology without putting the forethought or testing into play, things like this are going to happen. Uh, the information that was breached includes names, addresses, birth dates, social security numbers, were exposed to other users of the online application portal. So what all that means it's still a little bit too soon to tell and a hundred people are is probably a small chunk of the people that use the system to apply for the sbas i know a lot of companies are going through asking questions and helping each other going through this because there's not a lot of information out there on how to file an sba loan um in this time of need um with that uh cyber threat defense report put out a uh, one of their annual things, uh, it looks like 67 people, 67 percent um, paid ransomware. And that's that's huge. It's if we're doing the basics of technology and we're doing the basics of technology right from protecting proactively your system with, you know, monitoring your workstations and servers, proper education uh, of your end users so they know what to look for. And then reactively having a plan in place and knowing that your backups are there and they are tested to recover when you need them. The fact that it's above 50% is astonishing. The fact that it's above 30% is just wrong. At no point should you be in a position that you have to pay a ransom. Make sure your IT company, your IT department is testing your backups, is validating your backups. And let's just do a better job as a whole of combating ransomware here in 2020. And that leads me into the, uh, an article I read on the Insurance Journal, uh, insurancejournal.com. Uh, Robert Andes Anderson, the CEO of Cyber Defense Labs, uh, put out a really great article on the evolving ransomware. Um, and it's time pretty much for the industry to start preparing and not just preparing for the ransomware that we're used to seeing today, but preparing for the ransomware of tomorrow. Because with anything with COVID-19, coronavirus, we are learning that hackers are working around the clock with very updated phishing scams to gain information, social engineering on Facebook with a numerous amount of new surveys asking the same questions that are typically the questions you would ask, you know, for a password reset, 
and you just see so much of this in in space right now because so many people around the globe are working from home and have a little bit more free time and they don't have the same security protections as they would if they were sitting in the office so definitely you need to start preparing your organization. I understand right now, money is tight. Money's tight for everyone, every business out there, laying off employees, trying to figure out how you're gonna survive, being able to work, not being able to work. It's tough, but you have to make sure you are protecting your data, your technology, your assets. Uh, and now with the downtime, it's a great time to start looking at that. If you don't know where to begin or how to get started looking at that, shoot me an email, scott at techwisegroup.com. I'd be more than happy to get you in touch with our sales team and we can have a conversation about it. But now is the time. I understand it's slow. I understand there's not a lot of money, but if you don't take security significantly um, and make sure that your network is to the standard that it should be, then ultimately you're positioning yourself for a breach, which is going to make everything else going on right now just wham bam. Uh, so definitely take a look at that. Uh, some good news for Microsoft. Microsoft Edge uh, is now the number two browser in the world. But before you get too excited, it captured 7.59% of the market. The leader, Google Chrome, had 68.5%. So there's still a long way to go. And I don't know how that really uh, affects the whole metrics too much as Microsoft Edge also just started using the Chromium browser source. So really, when you're using Edge, you are using a Microsoft-branded Google Chrome. So that's what I have for today. Enjoy the day. It's going to be a great day here in central Pennsylvania. So wherever you're watching, make it a great day. Spend some time with your family. Enjoy life. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.